So yes, now we are starting the session. Am I audible and visible? Uh, yes, you are. Yeah, OK. So hello and good evening, everyone. Our uh, this is uh, our student alumni meet and our speaker for today's student alumni meet that is Sam is Mr. Sanu Kumar Gupta sir. He is an entrepreneur and our alumnus. He graduated from our college and IIT Durgapur in 2016 in the IT department. Currently, he is the engineering manager at Kickstart. He is also the co-founder of Recursion, and yes, he has founded his own startup named OLAG, which is the world's largest on-demand home services marketplace. So this session is going to be on the most craziest topic of our time, that is uh, startup and entrepreneurship. That is uh, his journey from being an undergraduate student at IIT Durgapur to an entrepreneur and bringing change in the world. So once again, we welcome you, sir, warmly and request you to please take over the session. Sir, please. Uh, thanks, thanks, Mohammed Nase. Uh, glad, glad to be a part of, of this talk and, and uh, I'm really excited. Uh, of, uh, 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 I'm really excited to get started and having a conversation with, with uh, uh, our, our college students and, and uh, alumni, uh, right? It's, it feels always great to uh, be back in the college and then talk about something that that everyone can hear of and then even I can experience the current vibe in the college. So thank you so much for introducing uh, uh, me, uh, Mohammed. I'll I'll, uh, uh, I'll try to divide this this talk in on in three sections. Right, the first would be around my college journey, and the second would be around my corporate experience, and then the third would be around my startup experience. Uh, and then I would like this talk to be uh, uh, talk to be uh, I think uh, uh, we'll we'll discuss about lot of questions right and and I would I would like to the direct uh, I mean this, this talk particularly in that direction where everyone is interested right I can talk about a lot of things but obviously in the limited time that is not possible uh, so I I would request everyone to ask questions or let me know what are the things that you are interested in knowing or what are the things that you are interested in discussing right. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll focus on discussing those things. With that, I'll, I'll get started with my uh, brief college journey. So I got into NIT Durgapur in 2012, right, with, with the IT department. And, and uh, uh, obviously, uh, it was IT department. Currently, I, uh, I think IT department is molded with computer science department. So it's all about computer science department at uh, NIT Durgapur. Uh, but yeah, when I started my college in the first first semester of his labor on the verge of uh, failing into the uh, subject uh, introduction to programming in C. Uh, that was something I, uh, I I didn't like at all uh, in the first year. I was uh, I was not aware about anything about programming uh, in, in the first year. Uh, right. I, I belong to a, uh, I come from a, a very small town in uh, Uttar Pradesh. It's near Gorakhpur called Maharajan. Uh, and we're not ever uh, aware about those stuff. Uh, even IT was something that happened unintentionally. Uh, I took that branch. Everyone was was in the favor of taking a core branch like mechanical civil at that point of time. Uh, that's how I ended up uh, uh, with with IT department in uh, an IT Durgapur. And then, like I said, right, uh, I was about to get uh, fail in the very first. Uh, programming uh, programming subject that was introduction to see I think uh, currently uh, it's the same ca case as of now as well uh, most of the folks don't like programming uh, particularly I mean who, who uh, doesn't belong to computer science department but yeah that's how I get started uh, after that uh, obviously the next next thing that uh, uh, I, I targeted was to uh, get an uh, get a MR. Uh, sorry, I I think this joke can be uh, relatable for you guys. So I I was a zone zone in person, uh, and and obviously the next target was to get uh, rid of uh, I mean uh, get rid of all the senior stuff and then getting an MR. Uh, and and uh, uh, I think first year went like that. 
and then then after uh, after my first year i started uh, focusing on uh, focusing on uh, i mean uh, focusing on uh, on on my career and then uh, started looking on to what are the things that i am really interested in and what are the things that i can do hence i uh, i mean we ended up building a group of like minded folks uh, in an uh, it department and in computer science department and then we started uh, programming uh i mean we started with competitive programming and then we started doing code safe and all those stuff right uh, and then that's what uh, i continued till the last year and and uh, during uh, the whole college uh, uh, college college duration there there are a hell lot of good things that that happened to me and uh, there are a hell lot of challenges that we faced right out of which i will highlight some uh, so we ended up uh, uh, our team ended up Uh, being uh, into ACM ICPC, it's the uh, International Collegiate Programming Contest uh, 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 organized globally. Right? We ended up uh, being a part of on-site regionals for three consecutive years, uh, from second year to final year. Uh, if you guys are aware about uh, recursion programming club at NIT Durgapur, uh, uh, I think we organize a lot of uh, events currently, and and it's quite famous in the competitive programming industry uh, currently. Uh, uh, I with with uh, I mean uh, five other folks founded that uh, that club. So when we started uh, coding, we we realized that there are a uh, lot of things that we can do here. There are a lot of things uh, that can be done to make people aware about uh, programming, and and hence it would improve our college placements and all those stuff. Hence we ended up uh, forming the recursion programming club, and and now it's it's doing a. an amazing job and and uh, i mean seeing that gives a lot of goosebumps as a as a founder uh then the third thing happened grabbing an internship at amazon at that point of time amazon uh, amazon was the uh i mean only a dream company that came at uh, at our time uh, it 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 was the first time that uh, when when amazon was coming and and i ended up getting an internship or opportunity at amazon but at the same time after internship i i i failed to uh, get a pre placement offer uh, from amazon and hence uh, i had to go to the whole campus placements and then uh, uh, off campus job opportunities to finally uh, get get some some uh, uh, offer from from the companies right uh, so i ended up getting a, a placement offer from novel uh, from from campus placement and and uh, obviously i was not satisfied being into amazon and, and then not getting uh, an offer from uh, such a large company uh, i uh, ended up uh, uh, going through 100 plus interviews during my final year uh, for uh, for off campus placement and finally i uh, i ended up getting a lot of offers from off campus uh, including direct i and tower research capital uh, finally i decided to join tower research capital that used to be a, a dream company for computer science engineer at that point of time uh, hence i ended up joining there uh, yeah that is all about my college journey i would i would stop for a while and and would ask if uh, you guys have any questions around this or uh, do you want to focus on certain things uh, on on my college duration i would be happy to take up those those questions i would like hello. to ask us hello hello yeah you are audible uh, what's your name yes sir yes, hello sir mr anjika hey hi hi i'm as that uh, for uh, the main motivation behind doing cp uh was recursion uh we were introduced into cp through recursion and through amazing men uh, mentors and volunteers there we actually gained some kind of uh, uh, uh like enthusiasm or interest or whatever through uh, into cp what mm -hmm. was uh, then if uh, as you said that the coding culture is not as well off as it is now uh then what was your like inspiration or something to like getting into cp and how this uh, idea of forming recursion came into you people's mind and also thank you for like 
founding recursion it's doing a great great job and uh, like we really we are really thankful to have such a such an amazing community in our college thank you uh glad to hear that uh, obviously it gives immense pleasure if you if you found if if you are a founder of something and then then uh, you hear this feedback then and obviously uh, uh, i feel with lot of good bumps when i see linkedin post and then all those stuff about recursion and then it's doing a great job holding on site uh, on site uh, i mean across uh, india right different college folks are coming and and uh, uh, having a contest uh, great i'll i'll tell you about uh, i'll i'll answer one by one so uh, yeah during my time uh, obviously the culture was not there uh, so how what was the inspiration for me so the first thing that uh, when you come into college right the first thing that you target is uh, uh, having a great job right uh, so when we researched about have, uh, how can we get a great job there were a lot of things that uh, there were a lot of articles around competitive programming that some someone has to do competitive programming to get the job and and all those stuff i'll be very frank uh, that was one thing uh, but that cannot uh, that that motivation cannot sustain right uh, i mean uh, you have to be very self motivated to uh, uh, to to get it going for the four years and, and then finally getting a job right so what really helped me uh building a, a group of like minded folks so uh, uh the uh, uh, i mean the six uh, the six folks that i talked about right uh, so we we were a bunch of close friends uh, right uh, we were into either it or uh, ec department or csc department uh, and we we used to dis and they they used to know about competitive programming because uh they come from a, uh, they come from a very uh, good background you could say uh, so they were aware about uh, uh, programming and all those stuff because of their senior secondary studies and, and all those stuff uh we ended up discussing lot of things around uh, programming and, and then we ended up getting that oh competitive programming is something that that is a kind of uh, competition and let, let's uh, let's get started with it right and ultimately it would help in our jobs as well so job became the secondary motivation later on and then the first motivation was that we all are uh, coming along and and uh, competing with each other and and then we got to know that oh acmicpc is something that we can target it, it's uh, it's an international uh, competition right uh, and and if we get into it right it would add a lot of value and we would get a lot of confidence uh, attending those those contests so it was all about the community and and uh, i mean uh, obviously you know that weekly and monthly competitions competitions uh, uh, were uh, were held by courts and all those stuff so it kept us going uh, that was the biggest motivation the second motivation was uh, uh, we had two seniors in our college at our time uh, and then they were quite uh, quite good at competitive programming we somehow got in touch with them and they motivated us a lot that do this thing they guided us a lot right and and, and uh, that was the second motivation factor and from them only we got to know a lot about acm icpc and all those stuff although overall in general uh, uh, i mean the vibe competitive programming vibe was not there uh, in college and then we thought of okay now we have learned a lot and we uh, obviously uh, we have been we we have been privileged right so the, we got these informations from someone or from some art articles and we have founded this group let's help let's let's help other people in the college and that is what we can contribute right and hence we started uh, i mean started uh, having classes uh, having classes about uh, competitive programming topics start starting from very basic like uh, uh what is programming why do we do this what what are the advantages what are the disadvantages and, and then going through the whole path of competitive programming that's how we started we used to organize our our classes in lg14 and uh, uh dm sir you guys must be knowing in uh, csc department currently uh he used to help us a lot uh, in in getting the permission for for that class because the class was not a club right uh, it 
it became club in the final year uh, in my final year right but we started in the very second year right uh, 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 and then and, and, uh, we started uh, i mean uh, i mean holding holding uh, holding classes and and, and then uh, 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 we got a very good vibe we got a very good feedback and, and then we finally uh, and so some of some of the attendees got a very good result they got placed in uh, some of the very good companies they bragged in turns in some of the very good companies and and that is what uh, we particularly uh, i mean uh, we had shown to to uh, uh, everyone in the leadership team uh, at college and finally got the permission to get it uh, recognized as a, a club and that happened in the final year but uh, we had to work a lot in the very beginning to prove everyone that this is something that is the future uh, for the college at least particularly for the csc department and then uh, we are going to make it happen uh, i hope it answers your question uh, yes yes perfect uh, i is there any other question that that you would want me to focus upon uh, during my college college days uh no uh, so so probably i can i can move forward i'll in, uh, i'll i'll basically uh, deep dive uh, into one of the aspects people generally have questions around uh, how how to uh, how how to get into off campus placement uh what is the right way of targeting companies right people struggle a lot i don't know the current situation but at my time it used to be a lot of hurdle uh, i mean companies uh, uh don't used to uh, i mean don't used to hire uh, from from off campus uh, at my uh, in my time right but but i'm not sure about the current situation but if you would like i i like to insist upon those facts and how did i uh, Uh, got how did i uh, get some some of the uh, uh, offers from a very good companies across the industry uh but i'll move forward so obviously getting uh, so uh, getting from from uh, 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 from from getting into nit durgapur and, and and then finally getting a job at tar research capital uh, i'll i'll uh, i'll let you know little bit about tar research capital so, so it used to be a, a dream company for everyone uh, i mean tower research or something even i didn't uh, anticipate that i'll, I'll get into it uh, because of the fact uh, their their uh, uh, their hiring standard was quite high at that point of time i ended up uh, 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 i ended up going through almost nine interviews uh, before finally getting an offer from them and uh, the other fact was that uh, uh, they used to uh, they used to go into only three campuses uh, uh, for for campus placement for hiring pressers it was iit bombay iit kanpur and iit delhi only so uh, again seeing those facts uh, it felt like that i'll i'll never be get into uh, uh, in, into it but finally it happened and i was quite happy that uh, uh, being being uh, i mean obviously think uh, thinking about getting into iit and finally ended up being in an iit uh, right and at tar research capital i got a chance to work with jair one right at my uh, 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 in my time right uh, uh, he was arpit agrawal right so he topped uh, iit je exam uh, in 2012 and finally getting a chance working with him in the same team right was was a great great achievement for me right? uh, and that boosted a lot of confidence uh, in general and and there was one learning at the end was that wherever you start if you continue focusing on the right thing and, and you have the uh, uh, right beliefs in in your life right you'll end up uh, getting the same thing uh, what another person is getting with uh, i mean uh, with with a lot of privilege or or a lot of good things that uh, i mean that person has done before right? we, which we didn't get a chance to do uh, and then then in tower research capital obviously the uh, the motivation was high the confidence was high uh, and uh, uh, there i uh, i was there for for 3 years uh, and uh, during 3 years it was a great journey i got promoted 3 times uh, during those 3 years 
and then the only thing was uh, the motivation and and uh, dedication to learn a lot and and uh, i mean having the right set of folks around you right uh, and and uh, obviously you have to continuously prove yourself uh, to be ahead in the game right uh, so that was about tar research i learned a lot there and uh, uh, being uh, being a very first company for a fresher right uh, you get on a daily basis you get a lot of new experience uh, 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 about the corporate world uh after 3 years uh, i decided to start my own uh, own company and hence i i put a paper or i put a resignation uh tar research capital and, and then started building my own company uh i'll i'll talk about it but but uh, uh, is there any question around that tar research journey that i could answer Yes, sir. Actually, means we have got so many questions to ask, and uh, and here people are also they will be also asking. So from the pe- prepared question that we have got from our uh, registered candidates, mm-hmm. so the question is when we get into a company, it's not possible that we know every skills needed for that company. So what are the tips to cope up uh, cope up with the pressure of work and also learning new things, and how to deal with those anxieties? A great question. uh i think uh, uh, even uh, <laughs> it's necessary to be, be be fearful but at the same time because we uh, don't get a lot of details around industry and all those stuff uh, we feel those anxieties right how would we cope up with it whether we would be able to make it or not right but ultimately uh, what i have realized that whatever your the self doubt that is arising in your mind kill that self doubt why because uh, if you talk about someone from college getting into a company right that company anticipates these things from you right uh, uh, that you won't be knowing anything you'll get some time to learn these things you'll get some time to accom- be accommodated with certain stuff that they follow right uh it's a general norm that people uh, i mean who whoever hire uh, 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 a fresher right uh, they 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 anticipate these these challenges to be happen right uh, uh, and and uh, you don't need to worry about but obviously uh, uh, if you uh, i mean how can you uh, be more confident uh, confident around this is uh, feel free to explore internship opportunities beforehand right because uh even uh, from the fresher the expectation is quite low in the company from an intern expectation is drastically much lower right uh so uh their company anticipate that they'll in i mean they they would have to put some resources to uh, train them and, and then finally getting them on a level where they can contribute right so uh, try to explore as many internship opportunities as uh, as you can right try to uh, try to get into a company much before uh, much before your final year right you could uh, you could do some internship in first year end or a second year end or a third year end that would help a lot to build your confidence right? uh, but nevertheless you should not be worrying about that you you won't be able to cope it up uh, right you are studying in nit durgapur you have cracked the uh, je exams right so uh, uh, rest of the things are easily uh, easily uh, can easily be handled by you i'm not sure if it answers your question yes sir i suppose yes, sir. Yes, sir. the question is being answered okay. same ko means another question is asked by the same uh, same person that is anjali kumari mm-hmm. she is asking do we get the enough time to learn uh, during uh, such uh, pressure and such atmosphere uh who who is saying that there would be a lot of pressure oh, uh, no it won't be right uh, yeah uh, so uh, uh, okay i'll i'll answer anjali so uh, that is what i told uh, i mean these things are called self doubt that you are creating because you are fearful that there would be so much pressure or you won't be getting a time to learn all these things and they are since they are paying you they are expecting the work to be done from the very first day uh, that is not the case uh, anjali that's now uh, that's uh, that's uh, not how how it works uh, in corporate world so what happens uh, as a fresher when you get into uh, uh, into any company 
you you are uh, generally assigned a mentor right uh, uh, i mean who who trains you uh, on on the skill set that that is needed you will get enough time to learn about it uh, some of sometimes company what companies do they share the resources beforehand right uh, before you joining the company and they ask you that read about it so that uh, you you can have easy days uh, i mean during during uh, joining the company right but they expect those things to happen right uh, and then uh, environment would be uh, different for sure uh, it won't be as easy as as the colleges but but it won't be that tough as well uh, you'll you'll get enough time to to focus on right things and then learn about skills that that is needed to uh, i mean perform that job I yes, sir. Now, yeah, yeah, it's, it's an answer. Now, yes, sir, you can go ahead and uh, yeah, means uh, let me tell you the all the attendees that uh, whenever they feel they can ask the questions and yes, we have the uh, curated persons also. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, perfect. So uh, now I'll, I'll uh, little bit focus about my startup journey. Uh, so uh, I started a company in home services domain. Uh, uh its name was oelz uh, uh you all are knowing right uh, so it's about uh, uh it's about uh, providing uh, services uh, uh, household services uh, uh, and and uh, i mean uh, the the purpose was to uh, optimize the market uh, of of the home services obviously uh, there are certain service providers uh, most of the service providers used to work offline and and sometimes they uh, they were not able to get services and all those stuff there were a lot of challenges in this domain and at the same time from the customer point of view there were a lot of challenges people were not getting quality service providers so someone let's say came, uh, came and and uh, to to let's say uh, uh, service an ac and then then uh, 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 i mean then ac stopped working and things like that so we wanted to solve that problem it was a common problem and and hence we started building a platform building a process how can we solve that problem uh, that that's how we get started uh, we build a lot of products around this uh, so we onboarded uh, service professionals we onboarded our customers uh, did a lot of marketing put a lot of operations to make sure that everything is functioning well we built uh, uh, Three, four products as well to automate this process, to scale this process. We built our website, we built our customer app, we built our uh, merchant app, right, and, and all those stuff. Uh, and then startup is a very uh, unique experience, right? If you are uh, if you are founding something, you have to do everything by your own, right? You don't get a privilege of having a team and and uh, having a support system from the very beginning. So. Uh, uh you 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 uh, have to really get things done on on your own in the very beginning and once you start getting uh, the outcome and then when you start getting the numbers then then you optimize on that and then then particularly hire a team and then then scale a team uh, at one point of time there were uh, uh, 15 uh, uh, employees work, working uh, working with uh, OLAZ and there were more than 200 service professionals uh, who were working for us uh, but but then uh, obviously covid happened uh, so when we launched after a month covid covid hit into india uh, india in uh, uh, april 2020 and then obviously we had a lot of challenges uh, because the the business was all around operations and and we are not uh, getting a chance to get into societies to promote our our services and uh, there there were a lot of challenges there we tried sustaining that market eases down and then we started scaling uh, again we uh, hit hit to a particular level right then and then covid second wave hit right and then again everything went down and then there were a lot of uh, lot of concerns arise on i mean third person should not be coming into home right to provide these services and all those stuff uh, and then uh, we were struggling obviously uh, in scaling uh, uh, in in this environment uh, but at the same time uh, i got an opportunity from from interview kickstart so at that point of uh, that point of time uh, interview kickstart started hiring engineering from india uh, so I'll tell you a little bit about interview kickstart. Uh, 
uh, it's a upskilling platform. So uh, in in the uh, US, uh, primarily in US, we have launched in India as well, and and now we are scaling up the business here. Uh, but yeah, uh, the the core motive is that if you are a software engineer and you want to get into fine companies like Google, Amazon, Facebook, uh, right, the tier one companies, you could come to IK. Uh, IK would make you prepare uh, within let's say three months. It would be a very rapid preparation, and then you you will be able to crack fine jobs uh, uh, in the industry. Right? That's what the business is, uh, and that that's what I crossed the path. Uh, and then and, uh, with with IK and, and then I found it quite interesting. So I had two options: either I can continue oil uh, and I can wait. Uh, I can wait for COVID to end, or or the second option was uh, grabbing this opportunity. Uh, so I decided the latter one. And and currently I'm uh, heading two engineering verticals at uh, interview kickstart, uh, operations and career skills. And then it's been an amazing journey. Uh, I have been a part of IK from past uh, uh, one and a half years, and and uh, it's going amazing on a daily basis. We are solving a uh, a lot of challenges, right? Uh, uh, on the leadership front, on the engineering front, and uh, 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 and and it was all together a different kind of experience. Where uh, at at OLAZ, I was I was running my startup with with a, a smaller set of folks. Now here, it, it's like I'm running. Uh, a startup within a startup uh, with a very last set uh, last set of folks right so the, here the uh, whatever i do has a very uh, high impact uh, so again i mean this, this this thing leads to a lot of learning uh, yeah uh, that is that is all about interview kickstart and that is what i'm currently uh, doing here and and uh, obviously it gives uh, an immense pleasure when you solve for software engineers so our whole business is for software engineers we are uh, making them upscale and making them crack fan companies in the industry so yeah i mean that is something that i like on a daily basis i mean solving problems for software engineers so i think this is it about my journey uh, i i would like to ask uh, i mean if you guys have any questions or or I want want to focus on certain things. Uh, I I can do. Yes, sir. Your journey was really great. Means uh, things really went uh, very nice. Means uh, you you got to know different people from the same mindset, and you build. You have already built and working on making changes. Yeah. Relevant Thanks. question has been asked. Yeah. Yes, sir. Relevant question has been asked by Devonina Datta. She is asking in India. Most of the people, instead of having a good idea, really hindered to launch a startup for funding. Even if the funding is ready, it's still a lot of uh, risk to take. So I want to know how to efficiently do the work of market research. If you could tell. Very great question and very insightful question. What's the name of the person? Devolina Dutta. Oh. uh debolina uh, i think this is a great question and this is uh, where people go wrong so you know there are a uh, lot of promotions around startup industry and and everyone is talking about startups funding and all those stuff right i'll tell you the basics of startup uh, doing doing a business right it's all about unit economics right so you have some product or, or services you build it in let's say uh, X rupee and you sell it in in Y rupee and then you earn the differential amount, right? And using that that margin, you try to sustain your business. You try to provide salary with with that amount. You try to uh, you try to make operations work. You try to make marketing work and and everything. And that is the basic of the business, right? Current, uh, not currently, but but. Uh, almost uh, a little time before i mean there were hell lot of uh, funding pouring in, in into the market right and and everyone was like let's let's uh, let's build something and and go for funding and then funding will happen it's not a very straightforward thing uh, it's not a very straightforward thing and most importantly it's something uh, that if if you go with this direction you'll end up getting uh, 
you'll end up hitting uh, hitting your opportunity cost and everything right unless and until you are confident about uh, about the thing that that you're building right don't think that funding will happen out of the box don't think that product will work out of the box you should be knowing very granular details about each and everything if you feel that this would work why this would work how this would work what are the market numbers that uh, that that you can gather so that you can pack your hypothesis because once you start working on that hypothesis it takes a lot uh, it, it takes a lot of time right of yours right to to actually come up with something then then you start operations right and then you start delivering your product or services right and then when uh, when uh, i mean if after that you realize that oh this is not working then then uh, obviously you'll regret a lot right so uh, make sure so there are uh, a couple of things that that you need to uh, make sure right to, when whenever you're trying to start a company the first thing is about market research it's very important that you do the market research quite well what do i mean by market research what is the market size uh, what is the consumption rate how the consumption is going to increase over time and once you uh, and how how would you do market research simply google for example let's say you are trying to build a home services domain company right if you google that uh, home services uh, market size home services market size in india home services markets uh, market growth cagr you'll get a lot of details around this right and then you'll ultimately be able to think about what is the market size what what is the market size that investors target right uh, whether it's the right market or not right market size is very important the second thing is very important uh, i mean uh, that is the primary thing that is very important is the product right uh, what product you are building is there a need of this product or it's just your hypothesis if it's your hypothesis get it proved before taking a uh, big decision right uh, uh, and then if it's something that 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 uh, uh, you know that lot of people are asking for it uh, if it is a validated problem then then you go ahead and and solve that problem right so second important thing is product the third important thing is comp number of competitors that you have right so you might be thinking about something that product might have already been built in the uh, in the industry right and it it might be being solved right now uh, you cannot blindly say that you will overcome that uh, that that company or you'll be able to survive along with that company right there should be a proper justification around that right you could survive sometimes people argue that oh ola uber is there uh, and then then only ola came and ola succeeded right but it's not a very straight forward comparison right let's say if a market size is 100 uh, right and then uber has captured let's say 10 then any other company could come and and can capture the rest of the market right or sustain in the market but it's not the case for every market so you have to really research deeply about the market and then only you can decide and and the competitors whether you would be able to survive along with the competitors or not and what is the different thing in you that will uh, give you uh, give you an uh, strategic uh, i mean uh, positive positive thing for for your company right so third thing is uh, competitors fourth thing is unit economics unit economics is how much money you are spending versus how much money you are earning right if you are spending more money than earning then then it's not going to work right obviously you take scale into the picture as well right it might be possible that lower scale your unit economics might be negative uh, right but when you think about the scale that when the product or service would scale to let's say 1000 customers or or 1 lakh customers then then the unit economics become positive right or you will be uh, having a margin on this product and service that would work as well right but make sure that you think about unit economics from the long term perspective right and the fifth thing is scalability how scalable that product or service is how scalable your business is right if you are doing a business right which is not scalable let's say uh, you are serving four customers and you need x resource now let's say to serve 40 customer you need 10x resource then it's going to be a problem 
your uh, it should not be a linear growth right otherwise you would have a lot of lot of challenges in running that business right so hence hence lot of uh, lot of companies are uh, being tech focused right because tech products are easy to scale your your resources uh, doesn't doesn't increase uh, along with the number of users right it increases pretty less uh, compared to the number of users scaling right so yeah these these are some core points that you need to think about uh, debolina uh does it answer your question or you have any other question on this things here got down uh, yes sir it's fine okay. thank you sir it was really great sir means you have covered means uh, those all insights uh, that you have already you have a uh, yourself experience in the market great sir thank you thank you so much do we have any other questions mohammed with you yes we have but uh, now you can go ahead sir yeah i think uh, let's let's uh, answer these questions because using these questions i can really provide some of the insights where people want to get into uh, i have pretty much covered about my journey uh, and and you guys must be aware about what are the things that that you can ask uh, to me uh, at the end I'll, i'll tell you some something excited that i'm doing uh, but yeah uh, i i would be happy to take up more questions mohammed if you have oh, okay sir yeah 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 go ahead uh, i got to ask a question uh what's your name sir i'm sondima uh okay go ahead uh, uh, i'm uh, i don't know if it's uh, like uh, it's time for i mean it's the right time to ask that that or not but i am just curious uh, what are your thoughts about ondc Uh, the open network for uh, digital commerce the government project that uh, government have been thinking about uh what project what was the name of the project open network for digital commerce okay i am not uh, really aware about that project uh, to be frank uh, okay. but uh, if you want to share some details i could provide my yes. input yeah yes uh it's about sir uh, like there will be a common portal or something I- i'm saying uh, as much as i know okay mm-hmm. uh, no be a, yeah. com- uh, a common portal about uh, uh, if a person wants to purchase something uh, he or she can uh, uh, hello yeah hello. you are audible yeah go ahead oh if a person wants to purchase something uh, he or she can uh, uh, search the product and there will be uh, they will claim uh, uh, different results from different websites like from amazon from flipkart like uh, like if i'm uh, talking about goods and uh, there will be prices she can choose between all of those and uh, like amazon flipkart what they do they uh, they always pushes products from their own inventory mod inventory that's already in there mm-hmm. uh, if about the inventory models uh, but and uh, that's why the uh, uh, the uh, like like the small sellers out there uh, not that uh, do not get that much benefit so government mm-hmm. uh, thought of this thing as and for this uh, the uh, like like normal uh, seller will also get to benefit from that so what's your thought about it uh okay Spend okay uh, yeah uh, as i don't know much about this project but i'll tell you there are certain things that obviously everyone needs to focus on uh, for example uh, the problem that that uh, uh, they are solving right for example if uh, Uh, a small uh, scale seller is not getting an opportunity right why he he is not getting an opportunity that question needs to be answered for example uh, uh, amazon doesn't restrict anyone uh, uh, anyone to uh, get registered on on the, uh, uh, on amazon seller account right uh, i i particularly know about uh, amazon because i have explored that that uh, amazon seller domain uh, 
uh, and you just need a GST on your name, and then you can get registered with Amazon. And GST is required because it's a government rule. So anyone can get registered on Amazon, right? If you are uh, having any of the products that that you could sell, uh, it need not to be your product. It could be a common product that you want to because you are purchasing it for less. You can you can sell it, resell it again. Right? I'm not sure about what if that is being. If Amazon is solving that problem, then what government is trying to solve? Is is uh, is the primary thing is that uh, Amazon is not able to get into smaller villages, and government would target particularly villages for this. Then it's actually this, trying yeah. to uh, diminish the monopoly as much as possible. Okay. Uh, i think uh, this has to be researched uh, uh, i guess more deeply even uh, if you say that the, anyone wants to break the monopoly right there should be a strategy around this right and what strategy you would use that amazon cannot use right yes uh, and it also crack down a lot of job opportunities to if this company sees no like uh, revenue generating from our, our company they will just go away so this is uh, a lot of questions this is raising a lot of questions uh, okay do one thing uh, i'll i'll share my linkedin url at the end of this call uh, do ping me on linkedin we can chat about it and then uh, we can discuss about that. i'll i'll be able to answer all your questions around this okay okay sir okay uh yeah mohammed do we have uh, other questions as well Yes, sir. I have another question. That is, nowadays graduates are interested in startups. What are some of the tips you would like to suggest to them that they can develop in their uh, graduation deal? So I think uh, college can be the best place or the best duration where you could think about uh, building a startup, right? Because you have lot of time. Uh, you have a lot of energy around you. You have lot of folks who. who could help you uh, right uh, i really encourage people to uh, get into a uh, business during college right if if they are interested right uh, get into anything even sometimes you feel that you are building something dumb there is nothing to lose right so when you go through that startup journey you learn a lot about it right so uh, i mean if you are interested and then uh, you want to build something uh, and let's say you are 80% sure or 70% uh, sure about that right go ahead go ahead and build it right fail uh, if you uh, if uh, let's say something fails let it fail right but but whatever the learning that you are getting it would help you in the next next uh, next uh, hunch right so let's say you build something you tried selling it let's say you learned a lot of things but but at the uh, at the end it failed right you will again try to build something else right then the learning that you have uh, gathered uh, in from from your past experience you don't need to put those efforts again because those are the things that you know right the only thing that you missed was it was not uh, able to sell why why didn't it uh, uh, why didn't it pick up find out that reason on the next thing solve that particular problem and then uh, move on right so using this uh, and then the, this uh, these things are not binary uh, this uh, i mean whatever you do right you are uh, you are learning something right or let's say you are in college right you are learning your curriculum right let's say if anyone doesn't get a job it doesn't mean that person won't get a job in future as well right it's not binary you have learned something right you are at a level right and then and then at some point of same uh, some point of time something didn't happen well it does not mean that it won't happen in the future it would happen right because you have gone through this path and then you have this learning so that is the important thing that that uh, you should notice or or uh, you should feel confident uh, confident about and then uh, uh, i mean college is all about doing a lot of experiment so i encourage people to do lot of experiment get lot of uh, get lot of experiences from wherever you can uh, be 
participate in clubs right uh, participate in marketing stuff right a lot of clubs go and and market about themselves to get uh, uh, get get funding for for some fest or something like that right everything uh, would give you something it won't take uh, something from you so be aware of the fact uh, try to get as many experiences as you can uh, in the college it would lead you to identify what what is the final thing that you want to do in your life right sometimes you don't know that and you haven't utilized that time in college and you ended up being in the corporate and then after some time you realize okay this is something that i never wanted to do so better to realize that thing in the college and then then focus on the right thing that that you want to do in your life great sir really great means uh, i would say means two things that you have said are really worth praising like you have said uh, there is nothing to lose actually it is uh, correct also we, we have nothing to lose in the college and another thing everything will means uh, everything that we will do will give something means uh, we will be learning something definitely great sir so Thank i you. can see there is some question from sudansu yes yeah, sudansu go ahead yeah so my question is like in college we have multiple things that we can do like uh, some people are going behind competitive programming some people will be Uh, going for open source projects some people will be preparing for government jobs and some people will try to build startups and all so there there are a uh, lot of chances that a person uh, lose focus uh, doing uh, like everything and end up doing nothing so how to tackle this situation okay well uh, this situation can be tackled uh, uh, by uh, being very mindful about what what you are doing right so there are hell lot of things that you can do in college right uh, now the the first question or the first confusion that comes in uh, in in our college life is what to do what would get me more successful right and and uh, generally we we ask this question and then then we get a lot of answers from different folks and then and then we get confused right what to do right the right question uh, that sh- that we should be asking is uh, during college what what is the thing that motivates me what is the thing that i like doing uh if you like doing that thing you end up being successful right uh you have uh, you this is a cliche statement and and uh, i mean some of the movies have highlighted this like three years and all this stuff but this is damn really true right so let's say uh, some people are doing open source some people are doing competitive programming some people are doing uh, uh, uh business right ask to yourself what is the first thing that you want to try may, may, make make up your mind that you'll try all these things because you might be knowing about competitive programming but you might not be knowing about open source and he, hence you might be resisting that i won't be uh, i won't like open source but that might not be the case right but since you know competitive programming and you you want to get uh, get started get started with it get uh, i mean give some time to it let's say one month two month three month try to soak soak in as much as you can and then you will start observing whether it's it is making you happy or not on a daily basis are you doing just for the sake of doing it or you or or it's getting you excited for example uh, let's say in this context you got let's say 100 rank now you want to be uh, in top 50 uh, in in global ranks in in code step right is that motivation coming in if it is then then obviously you, you no one can stop you in continuing that right but but if that motivation is not coming in or or you are confused about it stop it for a while and then get into open source try it for again 2 3 months and try to see if it is something that is motivating you and do it for as many things as you can right finally you will get answer from within yourself that this is something that i want to pursue try to do this and and you will find your answer uh, i am damn sure that you will be able to find an answer for uh, for, for yourself only and there is nothing that uh, open source guys are uh, are not successful or competitive programming guys are not successful or business uh, business guys are not successful everyone is successful 
in their field you have to uh, you have to get the answer from yourself where do you want to go right and and that answer would be different for different folks so mind that it would be totally different for you try to gain perspective and try to decide by yourself what are the, what is the thing that you want to do right you you feel right uh, youtuber are earning more than software engineers or any other person right and then if you say uh, if you if you say to your parent that you are going to be a YouTube, youtuber you'll get a lot of gall <laughs> from them right <laughs> but but now if in every field you can be successful right uh, it it just that uh, what what uh, uh, where do you want to go uh, where is your uh, heart lies that that is the uh, question that you need to get answer out sudanthu does it answer your question yeah i yeah, got it thanks uh, no worries uh mohammed do we have more questions yeah yeah yes sir i have another question this uh, this is uh, till now what you have uh, said with us is only the front end thing that we see like your achievements and everything what mm -hmm. things uh, running in the uh, means in the background and what things you really face a challenge and how you over overcome so you can share those things so we can get yeah yeah sure i, I think i have shared some of them but i think uh, yeah uh, some of them were but yeah. I'll, 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 I'll tell it again uh, right so during college right i i told lot of good thing happens but i told lot of bad thing happened as well right so for recursion i particularly uh, i shared uh, that uh, we started the recursion in the second year right and we got the final club club recognition in the final year and during these 2 3 years we are struggling getting the permission of uh, permission of classes to held classes and and uh, i mean to organize events obviously we had to ask lot of folks who can sponsor prizes for for those events and all, all those stuff right so on a daily basis we used to get a lot of challenge we then talked to anup kalbaliya from code safe so he sponsored uh, t-shirts for for our contest college contest right then we obviously uh, we we discussed uh, a lot with uh, 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 dm sir right then uh, he somehow got the permission for uh, lg14 and, and then we used to uh, organize our classes and sometimes we 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 were not able to get permissions right and then we had to uh, cancel classes and all those stuff happened right uh, these are the background of of recursion uh, same goes for uh, uh, my my job hunch right so uh, Yes, I yes, finally for the, for yeah. the corporate sorry for interrupt for the corporate part sure so uh, i'll quickly cover uh, about my job hunch and then i'll go uh, go into corporate thing so getting a job into tar or direct type right before that i have failed into 100 plus, plus interviews right and you can imagine 100 plus interviews is a lot that number is a lot right and then going through that yeah uh, sorry go ahead how uh, how you motivate yourself that time when you like constant failures like for us it's so hard to feel like do one two or three things it feels like we cannot do anything in life hmm well, and the core reason for this is uh, uh, the core reason for this is we think everything from a very binary perspective let's say i failed in let's say uh, 100 interviews if i am taking it as a for every interview if i am taking it as a as a binary i if i passed i got uh, i got the next round if i failed i got nothing then then obviously i'll be demotivated i'll be frustrated and that frustration did come at that point of time right uh, but but at the same time the belief was that i know a lot of things and i have learned something from from this interview i will not repeat this mistake again and this is something that helped me get going uh, right so there are hell number of mistakes that you can do before uh, so uh, what what kept me on was that i need only one job one one very good job right so it's all about one hit if i 
if i if i am failing at 100 hits that's fine as far as I, as i get i am i'm finally getting one hit right so it's all about learning from those experiences and obviously uh, whenever i got rejected i uh, obviously i felt uh, bad about it right but but the thing was what else i can do right i can be frustrated it would again harm me right uh, the only thing that i can do because nothing uh, nothing is here to lose right the only thing that you uh, that uh, that is that you can gain right so if i get more demotivated i am frustrated i'll i'll uh, i'll just stop everything it would harm me right it 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 would not benefit me so what is the next thing that i can do what are the things that i learned uh, let's let's focus on the next thing let's focus on the next company and, and let's see if if that works or not right and believe me if you uh, if you go with this kind of mindset you'll always be successful in each and everything it's not about job people doing competitive programming can relate to it people doing anything can relate to it right you would be failing for 100 times before in, before getting a success right but the thing that you can obviously ask what is what is here to lose right you are failing then if you are stopping you are you are failing again right you you are not uh, going ahead to pass right so go ahead and target the next thing uh does it answer yes sir thank you perfect so yeah uh, about job uh, i mean 100% interviews uh, in in my final year uh, and and uh, uh, and, and uh, then the, obviously tar research happened for for a good reason but after tar research i built a company although there was no fault right i learned hell lot of things during my startup journey i am quite confident that if I, i'll go and build something i'll make it successful but covid happened did i have the control of it no right but it, it did happen right so you have you should understand that everything around you is temporary you don't have control over it so what are the things that you can do from your side do it right and then be confident about it there are certain things that that are not in your control and where you would fail for example you are preparing for for interviews right what if every company freeze uh, freeze hiring because of let's say market current currently market situation is bad if you might be knowing uh, i mean all the big companies like netflix uh, amazon uh, and other companies have halted the hiring even if you are prepared for uh, off campus interview what can you do you cannot do anything right but this is not binary that if you if you cannot do at this point of time you cannot do in the future as well right whatever you have learned is going to be with you right and you will ultimately get into it it's about the right thing uh in the corporate world again <laughs> so uh, uh, as i said that i am uh, handling a lot of responsibilities here at uh, at in interview kickstart and on the daily basis uh, i am doing something uh, uh, for which i have been never trained so i have been never trained means for example let's say uh, i'll give give one example let's say uh, ik is scaling drastically right and i have to decide how many uh, software engineers do i need uh, to uh, to be at a situation where uh, i can deliver whatever business is asking from software engineering perspective in next one year because hiring takes time right uh, you know ki everyone has to go through four five round it takes two months uh, time and then out of 10 offers uh, only five people join and things like that how would i get to know that what number i should quote right and if and that is quite important for the company if i quote the wrong number that let's say i need 20 i might be needing 40 engineers and i quote that oh i need only 20 engineers right then i'm putting a company at a very great risk right but at the same time if i tell okay from 40 engineer uh, i need i might be needing 40 engineer and i'm telling i need uh, 80 engineers uh, to be hired right then I, again i'm losing a, i mean company is losing a lot of money because of my decision and that is something that i have never experienced right 
I am doing it for for the very first time. So that is the challenge for me. I need to talk to a lot of folks around the industry. I need to talk to a lot of senior folks in my company to understand how how should we decide that. And it it's not that there is a rule or there is a formula that you will put number onto and then you'll get the final result, right? It's not about that, right? You have to be very subjective. Think think about certain situation and based on that you have to take decision, right? so these are the daily challenges that come in my life right uh, I, i'm telling you one but but uh, i mean like this there are four four to five challenges on a daily basis come into my life and i have to deal with those challenges but that is what you feel excited about these are the things that you are learning right and then that is why you are doing a job right because you want to learn you want to contribute right so i guess uh, i guess i mean this this is something that will happen on a daily basis so don't don't fear about the challenges it will happen you have to just get going that that is the attitude that you should be having yes we are actually getting so much uh, feeling so much pleasure that you are doing wonderful thing uh, now i am yeah now i am towards the end of our question session so the mm-hmm. last question that is being asked by surya tapa sau he is asking ask him uh, means uh, about a lesson he learned during his entrepreneur journey that uh, helped him a lot in the future uh okay so reiterating on uh, some of the things that i shared already uh so uh, like the five pointer i shared about market about product about competitors about unit economics and uh, about scalability these are five key things that i have learned uh, and i have got a very deep experience about it how should we make sure that these five things are in place in the business if any of the things uh, uh, any of the thing uh, has been goofed up then you might be running on a risk right for example i am doing a startup and uh, at the same time i am not earning any money right then you are uh, basically uh, losing your opportunity cost at the same time your time and and your uh, your learning as well right because you are doing something which is not working right how would you make it work right so uh, these are the five things that i have learned about uh, 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 i mean uh, in the startup journey uh, there are couple of things that i'll uh, again insist don't become an entrepreneur because uh, i mean just for the sake of being an entrepreneur entrepreneur journey is hard uh, right hard in the sense that you have to have a lot of patience and you have to have a lot of things get done by yourself uh, and that you should be ready uh, 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 ready uh, to do right uh, should funding is always secondary in the business even someone uh, someone is funding you for example i'll i'll give one example and that will clear it out let's say Uh, in a job you earn let's say 40 lakhs a year right now you are doing a startup you you uh, did it for let's say 6 months or one year and, and now you are uh, now you are uh, at at a situation where you could raise funds and let's say someone gives you 2 crores of fund uh, to uh, to scale the business now if your business fundamentals uh, are not strong right what would you do with that to cr business right and if your business fundamentals are strong right then you can do a lot with those to cr uh, to cr uh, money right but 2 crores is not something that will get uh, get into your personal account it would be a business account and then investors will start asking a lot of questions on a daily basis right whatever you are doing you have to show numbers you have to show progress and each and everything to the investor right and you have to invest that money not on to yourself into the business right so 40 lakhs that you might have got uh, through a job that you are losing out and you are getting 2 cr 2 uh, cr worth of uh, uh, investment and that you have to invest in the business you can get obviously Uh, a smaller salary as well out of your business but it would be a pretty small compared to uh, your market uh, your market value if let's say some company is ready to give you 40 lakhs probably in your own company you might be you might be getting 10 lakhs or 5 lakhs just to survive yourself 
because your your goal is to build that business and not not to uh, invest the money uh, into yourself right so that is something that you need to learn it's not about funding even uh, even if you get funding you have to invest that funding to scale the business right you won't be getting that money for yourself right and if you yeah your voice is breaking uh, can you come again like what jeff presses has done like for kindle when he started kindle uh i didn't get the question uh can you type it in the chat is it allowed oh it's not allowed can you can you speak again i'll i'll try to understand or some if someone can just read it on the question i would be able. uh can you repeat the question uh i think you're not audible So, oh. saying like what Jeff has done, like Kindle or something. What? Sorry, Mohammed, can you come again? What? What Jeff Bezos has done, like a Kindle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she wrote something like that. Means in the chat section, she is allowed to write. She has written uh, like what Jeff has done. Jeff Bezos. Okay, so uh, I am probably not getting the question. I understood uh, that she is talking about Kindle and Jeff Bezos, but what is the real question that I want to understand? If she she is typing, probably I could uh, answer that question. She has left. I think she has she is having bad network. You can go ahead, sir. Uh, yeah. So I think uh, this is about uh, the startup learning, right? Uh, that lot of. people are just reading about funding news and then getting into it and, and or thinking about building a startup they'll get funding but but that funding is not for you that funding is for the business and you have to invest so unless and until your business fundamentals are strong you're not going to get uh, uh, you're not going to get rich out of that business right uh, your business fundamentals should strong you should know that if you're getting half million funding or 1 million funding how would you make sure that with using that funding you will scale to the next level so that you can raise more funding and then once you are at a at a very good level then you can start uh, start uh, uh, getting more salary from from your company because now that company is uh, has has grown and and now uh, there are a lot of folks who who are running that company right then you can uh, you can uh, you can fetch out uh, a considerable amount of salary for uh, for, for your purpose right but but Uh, it it's a long way right uh, uh, if your business fundamentals are not strong probably you won't be able to get to that level so think about these five five things product uh, unit economics uh, your market uh, your competitors and uh, how are you going to scale that business i think i'm i'm done with the answer mohammed uh, yeah, yes yes sir yes i see So uh, we are done with questions, Mohammed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our uh, curated questions are over. Now, means attendees uh, will be open to answer, ask their questions, and you can continue your parts. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, probably uh, you could ask questions if you have any. Uh, perfect i think we have answered all all the questions glad glad to know glad glad to know about it that uh, we were able to answer all the questions uh uh perfect so i'll i'll tell you about uh, my uh, so one thing that i'm obviously doing is uh, handing two engineering verticals at ik and then uh, that that will continue happening but other than that uh, i'm i'm uh, currently exploring uh spirituality and and uh, mental health and and uh, uh, how could we solve those problems for for so after covid there were a lot of a uh, lot of uh, situations like this a lot of uh, news like this has come and it being more open right and and uh, we all are realizing that uh, 
uh, at any point of time we are having a lot of anxiety we are not uh, getting the right direction what to do uh, what to do and what to not uh, what not to do right there are a lot of pressure and then there are a lot of mono uh, uh, there are a lot of a uh, lot of things that feels like monotonous thing in our life these are the things that that uh, a lot of corporate guys are asking and and some people in the college uh, are also feeling that so uh, that is what i'm currently curious about and, and i'm exploring that that particular uh, uh, domain uh, and then learning a lot about it probably next time when we meet i i'll be able to share much more details about this but uh, what i'll do i'll i'll uh, share uh, my uh, contact details here uh, uh, how can i share that uh, uh, moment you you can see the option uh, Aside, Chat uh, disable uh, for me. You can you can see the option like share upward arrow pointing at the top at the right top. Uh, right top. Uh, no, I'm not able to see that. Oh, uh, open share tray. Sir, I think now you can do it. Uh, maybe when I I can do. Okay. Or what? Uh. One second. On the top right, I'm not able to see anything. Uh, I think what I'll do, I'll share it with. Uh, okay. Let me just check again. I think my role is changed. Uh, I'll just check it again. Yes, sir. Now I think you should be able to see. Can you enable chat for me, or uh, it's not possible for now? No, actually, it's not possible for now because okay, it's so a group. What what we will do? I'll I'll share the uh, I mean contact details with uh, uh, with one of you uh, on LinkedIn, and then and then you can share it with everyone. Uh, so uh, I mean, feel free to contact me on on uh, those those channels, right? I'll be able to uh, I'll I'll be happy to sit sit with you and and uh, uh, solve some of your problems or, or discuss about something that that uh, you really want to discuss. Uh, feel free to uh, get in touch with me uh, uh, and and uh, if you are having more questions, feel uh, feel free to drop a message on on LinkedIn or Instagram. I'll be I'll be able I'll be able to answer those questions. With that, uh, probably yeah, I'm I'm done from my side. Sir, uh, I want to ask your permission for something. That is, uh, you do uh, the some of people are having internships, and also our first years are having their exams right now. A uh, lot of people weren't able to join, so mm -hmm. we like to like uh, post uh, this uh, recorded session on our YouTube. Uh, if you don't have any problem with it. Uh, you can do that. No, no problems. Yes. We got request. Thank you. Sir. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So we can we can conclude this session, Nabu. Yes, sir. We we will definitely means uh, we are about to conclude this session. Before that, I would means uh, I I think if it is possible, then you can share your content. Otherwise, means it would be really difficult for us to uh, share your contact details with everyone. Who so for that I am I am just uh, presenting my screen and I will be guiding you how you will be able to so it means how uh, you will be able to share. Sure. Uh, yeah, sure that works. So can you can you see my screen? Yes. Can you see my this screen? Mm -hmm. So can you uh, are you able to point um, say locate my pointer this? uh so no uh, actually this type of screen i am not able to see uh, i mean for on on my side because i am i am on the web uh, web uh, teams link i have not download, downloaded any software okay so means uh, okay okay so let okay, me do one thing let me let me share my screen i i have written it down uh, on the top uh, yeah yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Just uh, allow me one minute. Let me think. Let me see if I can share it. Nice. Uh, is my screen visible? You can also access uh, in our. Is my screen? 
not yet sir uh it's not it's still okay is it visible now no sir i think there is some problem you can you can send your contact details to us and we'll be attaching that in the description of our youtube uh sure uh yes sir now now visible sir perfect uh just allow me a moment i'll, I'll type those and then i'll uh... yeah i think uh, i'll i'll share it uh, as well but i mean these are uh, my contact details uh in case you guys uh, want to get in touch with me uh you could you could message me on linkedin you could message me on instagram you could send across a mail uh, that would be fine uh and and i'll share the details with you uh, as well mom uh, separately but yeah if you guys want to note it down you can note it down uh my linkedin username is sansi uh instagram user uh id is it's me sansi and this is my email id yeah yes sir thank you thank you sir means uh, for uh, making this happen thank you sir thank you no worries thank you guys uh, thank you for attending this session and uh, best of luck from my side uh, feel free to reach out to me in in case of any questions or anything that you want to discuss thank you guys bye bye no yeah, sir no sir we have something we have something for you also sir means oh is it <laughs> okay i will yeah, yes, stop sir, yes sir. okay yeah yeah you, yeah Yes, sir. Means uh, from our student alumni interaction seal under Center for Alumni Affairs and International Relations, we have one token of appreciation for you that I am presenting. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, is it visible? Uh, yes, I think uh, your screen is visible. Yeah. yeah, please do accept. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much for this. This means a lot uh, to me. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Mohammad. yeah we will be providing its copy to you over mail and we'll also be giving to you whenever you will visit uh, will be visiting our college and yes sir please do visit our college means so whenever you are in there in uh, west bengal please do visit will be till to meet you i'll i'll be happy to do uh, uh, i'll i'll plan and obviously let you know guys uh, when whenever i am coming to college yes yes sir so now sir uh, at last thank you from our hall family of student alumni interaction sale and uh, we are means this session was really very interactive and we have covered a wide range of uh, questions around the startup and entrepreneurship uh, from college to corporate world and you have answered everything very beautifully so we are very thankful for that sir and we are also looking to internship you if you can provide us uh, means provide our college students uh, at your uh, uh, kick start interview or uh, olg also means uh, we'll be very happy to be there yeah yeah sure uh, obviously i'll be reaching i i, I am continuously in touch with dm sir uh, so we were discussing about uh, campus placements uh, from from ik and an internship opportunities from ik uh, like i said uh currently we have uh, frozen hiring for for some time for a month or so uh, but as soon as uh, uh, we are resuming hiring uh, obviously i'll i'll be happy to get in touch with all all of you uh, guys and and obviously i'll i'll be uh, uh, sending much more information to you or our dm sir right to get it started for sure yes yes sir okay sir thank you for uh, joining this session and we wish you all the best for your future endeavors and we are looking forward to more learning learning opportunities from you thank you sir thank you once again thank you thank you mohammad thank you everyone bye bye take care bye sir thank you thank you everyone for joining this meet now you can leave bye bye चंद्रिमा दीदी प्लीज स्टॉप द रिकॉर्डिंग